Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today in this quick video I'm going to show you what to do if your USB stick is not recognized on a computer. So let's get started and before we start if you first time to the channel please take a second to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos and if you will find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up I appreciate it very much and let's get started. So as you can see I have got the USB stick here this is a USB 3.0 and when I insert it into the computer and go to the bottom right corner to where the USB sticks are, it is not recognized. And if you open up the file explorer, it is also not recognized here. But the USB stick is still connected. So if we go to a specialized program for the disk management, I'm using a Cronus Disk Director. This is the version number 12. You can see that the USB stick is shown in this program. So it is recognized by this program, but somehow it's not recognized by the computer. And if we look on each drive, you can see that each drive has a letter assigned to it, but this drive doesn't have any letter assigned to it. So this is the problem that we're gonna be fixing today. But I understand that not everybody has this program available. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem using the regular Windows service programs. So for that, we just gotta go to the search icon on the bottom and type in disk management. The first search result that we're gonna see is gonna be the one that we need, create and format hard disk partitions. So this is the one that we're gonna use. So just click on it. You can also find it in a different way. If you go to the start menu, click on the gear icon on the side, and then type in the same thing, disk management, in the search field. It's gonna bring you the same window. But nevertheless, once we got the disk management program opened up, as you can see, it also shows us three disks. Two disks are SSDs and one is our USB flash drive. And as you can see, it also doesn't have an assigned letter to it. There is a letter C, letter D, but the USB stick doesn't have any letter. So you just gotta right click on this drive, choose change drive letter and path, then click add. Then where it says assign the following drive letter, just choose the letter that you like. Let's say it's gonna be a K, then press OK, and that's it. It's done, it magically appeared, and this was the whole problem with this disk. Sometimes you might also have to format the drive because this might be another problem why it's not recognized, but if you have formatted and it still doesn't recognize it, this is the problem. And this problem could happen if you remove the drive without having to safely remove it by clicking on an icon in the right bottom corner, or it also could happen if you have installed some software, let's say you created the bootable drive, and this is what happened. I have created a Windows 7 bootable drive on this USB stick. And once I have removed it, I have formatted the stick and it doesn't recognize it. So you have to format it and then you also have to assign a letter for it and then it will be working back again. But in case you're running into a more serious problem with your USB stick, for example, it's not recognized at all and even the Acronis Disk Director or Windows Disk Manager doesn't see it at all. There is not only a letter that's not assigned to the drive, or it's not formatted, but there is a deeper issue and this could also happen. So don't throw out the USB stick until you try the method to recover it. And I have another video how to revive a broken USB stick. This is a very helpful video for those who have broken USB sticks and don't know how to fix them. It will be a complete full guide for beginners how to reinstall firmware on the USB stick. It will be very interesting, so make sure to check it out before you throw out your USB stick in the garbage. In most cases, you will be able to save your USB stick and still use it for a long, long time because usually it's not the hardware problem, it's more software and firmware problem. And if it's that, it can be fixed. So make sure to check it out. So this is it. I hope you find this video helpful, guys. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it very much. And also, if you wanna see more such videos, take a second to click the subscribe button and turn the notifications on. All right, this is it. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.